Hi guys, it's Rochelle from Water Lane Furniture again in humid Sydney. Cloudy, grey clouds and humid. Today I'm going to be reworking this little coffee table. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is a table that I actually did um, about six months ago. I wasn't happy. I, I did it to sell. But I wasn't happy with um, the top of it. So I ended up keeping it in the plan to redo it. So that's what I'm doing. Now my camera, my phone camera throws a lot of blue. So it's less blue than this, than you can see. Got a little bit more of a green in it. But this is Dixie Belle Serenity. And it's held up really well. You know, we've got the dogs running around everywhere. It hasn't marked at all. Really good. And I didn't put a top coat on. It is what it is. That being said, I'm changing it. It doesn't go with my uh, lounge room, so I'm changing it. Oh, Bailey. Perfect height for you, isn't it? Oh, look, flies. Get it, Bells. Get it. Get it. It's gone. Um, so I'll just show you the top and what I didn't like about it. So... Firstly, one of the problems was I didn't sand it enough, and you can see that here, these patches. I'd say that's a little bit of residue of the stain that was on there already. Secondly, this is Dixie Belle White, is it called White Magic, the Voodoo White? Um, as with most of them, in my opinion, there's not there's very little work time. It would have been better to water it down, I think. Anyway, I'm not a fan of it, so that's going to... Um, Still don't know what colour I'm going to do. I might, I might go with Hampton Olive. I've got a couple of new um, Carts and Millie stains. I'll have a look at those. Firstly, let's get this top resanded. Right, my usual sander bottle. There we are, Bosch GEX One Two Five ABE Professional. I'm using um, a One Twenty Grit. Hang on, let me just give this. Time for a bit of a clean off. Wait for the noise. <laughs> Bailey always does that every time I switch on. Right, I'm sitting down doing this. I'm feeling lazy today. No, this is too low, and to be honest, I hurt my back a bit yesterday. Probably lifting stuff. Not probably. Definitely lifting stuff. Um, PPE still isn't in place, obviously. I'm waiting for my new boots from Sleek Brushes. The trainers. I, I should wear them all the time. Definitely going to be wearing them when I'm doing pickups and deliveries. Because barefoot is just not good. Right. Let's get stuck into this. Um, so, I'll just mention again... Oh, actually, let me show you the colour of this on the camera now. Maybe it'll show better. Yeah, that looks like more. That's a more realistic colour. So it's held it really well. There's a few coffee stains on there. But it's held it really well and I didn't put a top coat on. So those, thinking about the longevity of Dixie Belle Silk, it's good. So now if you look closer here. When I sanded this, I had my Azito, uh, my battery-operated um, random orbital. So it was harder work, so I was lazier. Not lazier. I was doing more work. Again, uh, not such a good finish. So now let's see how we go with this. nicer that is now I totally ruined it last time it's beautiful okay now to decide what color Ooh. right I still haven't decided on a color um, I've got a lot of what have I got? no I say got a lot of 
We've got all different colours. So I've got Purico Carbon in there, Purico Peacock, Purico Fossil, and Fusion Bedford. I got a bit of a mix, so it doesn't really matter what I do. Anyway, I'm just going to scuff sand this, and then I'll give it a little clean with Dixie Belle. So this is just a 120 grit. For some reason, that that sand is really going through me. I do this every day. Actually, side note: the sound of freezers is my thing, and that sounded exactly like it. You know, you open a freezer drawer. I can't do it. It turns me sick. So suddenly, oh, I hope this doesn't continue because that's just sent me on one. I'm gonna have to get over that. Let me just show you what it's doing actually. So this has been on here for like I said, about six months. So it's holding up pretty well. Can you see? And there's no extra top coat. It's holding up really well. That's interesting to see actually. I didn't know if it would. It's been fine in the house, obviously. Oh god, I don't like that sound. How can I be a furniture flipper that can't cut with the sound of sand in? It's only because my anxiety is high this week. It'll pass. helping myself like I've got these cables everywhere so this isn't running over those very well the wheels aren't running very well so right what color am I gonna do guys see I've got all those little 100 ml pots of um, Dixie Bell still and I'm thinking um, that's all that this will take so I might as well get one of those there eh? Yeah. Yeah, that finish is really good. That's really holding up well. All right, let's see how we, let's see if it gets um, if sanding gets coffee splatter off. Sorry, you're having to listen to that. But if I've got it, you've got it. Hmm, that's good. Right, I'm gonna clean this. Then we come back when I've decided on the paint. Could be a couple of days. Who knows? You might come back, I might come back and it's already done. Who knows? Okay, decision made. I'm gonna go with the chalk paint. It's called chalk mineral paint. Apparently it's just chalk paint. Um, Dixie Bell aren't allowed to call it chalk paint for legal reasons. No one is apparently allowed to apparently. Anyway, I bought this to do some blending with. I haven't done the blending yet. As you know, because you haven't seen the video. But look at this color, can you see that? anything with green and I'm sold. This is called Palmetto. P-E-L-M-E-T-T-O. I love the look of it. Look, should I stir that? I'm just gonna shake it. I just said the F word. Did you, you didn't hear it, did you? It doesn't count. I've got right foul mouth on me sometimes, sorry. Sorry for any children watching, if that slips out sometimes. I don't mean it. Right. Actually, maybe I should put a warning on here. Don't let, don't let your kids watch until you've seen it yourself. You've watched it yourself. Right, let's have a go. Oh man. I'm using my Sleek 38. Oh, look at that. I've got sink on my glasses. Oh, I don't know. I think it's white lightning. So I will have to seal this, that's all right. My delivery from Capriol, uh, no, not Capriol, from Cats and Millie arrived yesterday. So I've got a uh, top coat. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? What do you think? I do like a bit of bold, don't I? Oh, sugar, sugar. <laughs> oh dear. I do like my bold colors. This doesn't feel like a chalk paint though, I've got to be honest, it's called chalk mineral paint, but I think it's just a chalk paint. But um, 
I used this on when I was about to smash that desk up the other day. I haven't finished it, by the way. But I'm going all over the place with this. I don't know which direction to go in. I'm going to get my sprayer. Where are you, my sprayer? Yeah. It's quite thick. This is why I'm using this. And because I've just decided to go in all different directions. I need to sort that out. Um, what was I saying then? I don't know. Just rambling. Just rambling. I what colour to put on the top of this. Oh, yeah, I used the other. The, I've got a, another. Oh, what colour was it? Anyway, I got another one, chalk paint of Dixie Bells, and I tried that on the desk before I smashed it up. I haven't smashed it up, but I'm close to. And the coverage was amazing, so yeah, I'm thinking this is probably quite similar to um, Cancer Millie, although the Cancer Millie paint, it's got a built-in top coat and sealer, this hasn't, it's just a chalk. So it's nothing like Cancer Millie then, so shut up Rafe, that was rubbish. <coughs> this colour's nice, I don't know what my husband's going to think of it, but he just says do whatever. He knows it'll only last in there about six months anyway, and then I'll just bring it back out and paint it again. Oh, I've got paint on there now. It's lovely. You can spritz your brush as well. Some people spritz their brush. Um, there's no reason why I do it this way. It just makes more sense to me to do it like that, but I don't know. Either way, I guess it doesn't make any difference. You don't even have to spritz if you don't want to. The reason I do, well, certainly with mineral paint anyway, because you've got it, it um, increases your wear time, but it's really about the brush strokes and not having those. None of us like that, do we? So I reckon, so I've spritzed this and it's pretty good coverage. I reckon on the next go. I reckon we'll be there, and then I'll just have to put the top coat on. I like little projects like this, nice and fast. I had a big day yesterday, did um, coffee table and TV unit, well I started coffee table the day before, and I've just done finishing touches on them now, just tidying them up. And they're ready to go in the car, in the van. And then in the van, I've got a large four-door buffet and hutch that I'm doing for a customer in um, Purico Carbon. It's going to look gorgeous. Gorgeous. Sorry, I'm having you watch me do all this. Oh, well. Make yourself a cup of coffee while I do this, maybe. <laughs> it won't take long though. I'm gonna go make myself a cup after this. Or maybe an Aldi shake. I live on Aldi shakes. Because I've got such a small tummy, I can't um I can't really eat much, so I don't really have much enjoyment out of food anymore. Which is a shame because I used to really love it. Clearly, that's why I needed um weight loss surgery. But anyway. I really like the Aldi shakes. I just add some extra protein powder into those. And then they're great. I have one for breakfast every morning. And then um, sometimes throughout the day, if I'm struggling with food, just to make sure I get enough in me. Best thing I ever did for me was having that surgery. Give me, give me my life back, really. I couldn't do this, otherwise, the way I was, I was really unhealthy. It wasn't about size, it was just about health. I was extremely unhealthy. Now, don't bloody really sit down. Well, I do, but it's usually with a paintbrush in my hand. Oh, I'm in a right chatty mood today, ain't I? 
Sorry. No, I'm not sorry. You chat to me as well. <laughs> Tell me your story. Tell me about your day. This is a really beautiful colour. I tell you what, if I, if I end up liking this, God help me, because there's so many more colours in this range. And I think the Capriola sell this, don't they? Yeah, because that's where I got this one from. And um, Chalk and Mirrors, Mon. She's great. Watch her videos. I'm going to learn to... I'm gonna, oh, actually, I watched her do um, blending last night with Clance and Millie. I didn't know how you could do that. She's bloody genius. So I shared the, the video in um, in our Facebook group, Mono Lane Furniture Friends. So feel free to head over there and have a look. So any members that we've got, they've got a YouTube channel specific to, obviously, furniture flipping or other tutorials, lives on their Facebook, I'm more than happy to share in that group. It's not a selling group. If you want to go there just to try and advertise your wares, then that's a no-go. No but if you've got tutorials that we could all benefit from, I'm happy to share them. Whether that be your lives from your page or YouTube channel. And I encourage anyone to get a YouTube channel going. You learn so much from other people. It's not. Um, it's not really about me teaching people because I'm learning all the time. I get such good tips in the comments. It's great. And in that group, so many money saving tips. What sponges to use, applicators for putting on stains and stuff. It's awesome. It's good because everyone's supporting each other in the, you know, all the same quest, but everyone's supporting each other doing the same job. And it's all over the world as well. It's not just Australia. Great. I love it. What do you think? Do you like this? Drying quite quickly. Right, I'm going to go and have a shake. I think. Oh, that's proper nice, that. Isn't it? What colour stain? Something warm. I'm thinking. Oh, I'm. Can I still be talking? Yeah, I guess I can. Um, what did I get from Cacarts and Millie? I got, I've got their driftwood and chocolate, something like that. Chocolate, warm chocolate, hot chocolate. Chocolate anyway. That might work. I'll have a look. Yeah, I'll have a look. I'm back. Right, I've put three coats on and I've got full coverage and it's stunning. It's so smooth as well, it's beautiful. But now I'm gonna put the top coat on. So it's gonna be four coats in total. Um, so it's a dark color. So I'm gonna mix in some paint with it. So let me just show you what I'm going to do. Um, and I want this predominantly to be um, top coat because don't forget, we have to seal this. This isn't just because I, I prefer a satin finish. We have to seal this because it doesn't have a built-in sealer. Um, so I've got my Cats and Millie satin top coat, a brand new tub, thank you very much. Can't find my stirrer, no changes there. So I'm using a paintbrush. I don't know what I've got this paintbrush for anyway, so. Oh, I do. I got it for painting gold on something once. Right, I've got my little pot. I'm going to decant into. I always don't don't throw your pot away, your pots, guys. You're using constantly. I do. Right, that's that mixed up. So I know some people like numbers. I just guess. So I'm just going to fill this up. Okay, that's a hundred ml pot there. And then I want to pour some of this in. So I don't know if you want to talk numbers, maybe 90, 10, something like that. It's just a, just really to tint to tint the top coat. So you're not going to get any um, streaking. It's all you're doing, really. But like I said, this paint doesn't have a built-in top coat. So. Um, we're not just doing this because I prefer the satin coat, it's because it needs it, it needs to be sealed. So nice. See, so I haven't got a dark paint colour here. It's pretty, you know, it's it's um it's got a fair bit of colour in it, but it's mostly top coat. 
and don't forget it doesn't dry that that milky color it, the milky color of the top coat it, it dries clear so right let's have a look what's well, light one going on and if there's any of this left over i'll just chuck it in my mix pot after nothing goes to waste Yeah, I'm impressed with this, gotta be honest. I did try another brand's um, chalk paint. And um, I gotta be honest, it scared me off. I wouldn't say which brand it was, because, well, I don't think it's necessary, but needless to say, I don't use that brand anymore. In mineral or chalk. But um, I, this has impressed me. And I actually feel like quite an idiot that I haven't used it before, to be honest. But that's what happens when you get scared off a certain type of paint, isn't it? But all brands are so different. So different. Could you even see what I was doing just now? Jeez, Rach, look at the camera. Bloody idiot. You know, when doing this, this is when you, you've got to be mindful of your of your direction of your strokes and things because you don't want it. You don't want your top coat to go be going all crisscrossy. You want to keep them, keep it good, keep it neat. So long strokes, ideally. Not lots of stop and starts. Just gonna keep mixing this in. So I've used, oh, I love look how much I've used actually. I think you put more on your brush with chalk paint than um, you do mineral. I think that's probably fair to say, but well, that's what I've noticed. I'm quite used to not having to have much on my brush with mineral. But the chalk um, doesn't stretch as far when you paint it, doesn't go as far with one brush stroke it seems. Could just be me though, probably. Right, so what we want to do here is just do the full length. This is this is our last coat. We want it to be nice. I'm not going to be doing a few coats of this. When I do, when I seal a paint, I only do one coat. I really like this colour. You just know that I'm heading straight to the Capriol website after this to see what other colours this comes in. I just really like bold colours. And I like change. So I get bored of something very easy. I'm very fickle. Very fickle. And then I'll kick the ass out of it and then I'll move on to the next thing. It's a cycle. I'm okay with it. been doing it for a long time <laughs> and you don't want to overwork your top coat that's the one thing you will get taxed here any top coat do not overwork it once it's starting to dry leave it alone if you want to fix something up wait till it dries and come back and fix it up that might mean sanding it back a little bit or something if you've overworked it but don't keep going over it like I'm tempted to do there and then I'm really happy with this. Oh, I got, I got them cats really top um, stains. Let me see. One was called milk chocolate. Is it? Hang on. Driftwood and milk chocolate. So I'll have to have a look online what they look like before I decide. I think. But I'm thinking probably milk chocolate at this stage because it sounds nice. I'm a bit hungry. Oh, in the shadow.
I just ordered another heap of um, sleep brushes, I'm not gonna lie. I used to use the 25mm more often, now I'm using the 38mm and um, I haven't been looking after them brilliantly, so I've just ordered more. Maybe they'll throw some freebies in for me. They did say they would. That'd be nice. If you've got any questions about the sleep brushes or anything, by the way, just um, ask in that in our Facebook group because the owner, Jimmy, Jimmy Zoo, or Z, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, Z H, um, is in the group. So rather than me just guessing the answers, if you ask over there, then it'll be able to help you. Um, a lot of people have asked about having them shipped overseas as well. They do. They, they certainly do to the US. I think you just have to let them know. You have to speak to them directly rather than... I don't think it's automatic on their website that it states shipping overseas. Um, but if you contact them, I think their Instagram account is their best um, form of contact. But I don't know. But anyway, in that group, Jimmy is in there, so... Maybe a help. You've been getting inundated with orders for these brushes. Understandably, they're bloody good. But that means I've been inundated with questions about them as well, so it's better if you get the answers straight from the horse's mouth rather than from me. I'm just guessing stuff. I just use them. I just use their sandpaper and their brushes and I'm happy. I was just about to say, can you smell that? <laughs> we can. Look at some jasmine. They've got lovely jasmine bushes next door. Oh my god, I love them. Right, this is a win for me so far. I'll be keen to see how this dries now and make sure, sure there's no streakiness. I won't be able to cope with any streakiness. Appleby Bailey, what are you doing? Good girl. You were just licking yourself, were you? Right, that's that done, guys. Now, I need to smooth sand this girl. Right, top has been smooth sanded. Let's see what this new colour is. Let's have a look. So, I'm going with Carts and Millie Milk Chocolat milk chocolate I haven't even looked online to be honest what it's going to be look like I'm just um confident that it'll be good <laughs> how good's that for you right using my usual Dixie Belle yeah it's good Dixie Belle sponge um actually another good tip in um in the group was about using them um, kitchen sponges you know the ones that got the scour on the other side and they've got this same shape awesome tip This might be a bit too much red in for me, actually. Which is no biggie, but what it mean, what I'll do is I'll put this all over and then I'll go over top with um, something else. It's a bit peachy, I think, for me. You might not be able to see that in the camera, but when I'm looking at next to um, the paint, it's not as brown as I want. So I'm going to go over top with probably, I don't know, or maybe Shed Door. Yeah, this has got like a fleshy colour to it. Fleshy? <gasps> yeah, it hasn't got a fleshy colour at all. But yeah, if I'd have stopped and then decided to change, I would have a patch that was different. So, which is why I'm carrying on. So I'm working off the same base all the way across. The other option obviously would have been to sand that bit off. But, sounds like work to me, you know me. 
taking it so well on the edges, it always does. It always does. So usually when you're doing the, the end grain of your, your staining, you usually just need half amount that you put on the top because it just takes it so well. It's like twice as dark straight away. Yeah, so it's a nice colour, it's just not what I'm after for to go with this. It's a bit peachy. It'll probably dry light it. I tell you what, this table has been a nightmare to sand. It was the first time and it is this time as well. There's bits there that haven't I haven't got it all off. Luckily it's for me, I don't care too much. Right, what do I do with the lid of that? There it is. Right, I'm just going to go straight over with... What should I do? Hang now or... Let's see which one I pick up first. Hang now. Let's see which one Hang now it is. Straight over with that. See, and it's not that much different, it just doesn't have the peachy in it. So I'll probably do two coats of this, but like I said, I just carry on going. I don't sort of stop and then wait for it to dry and then put another one on. I just keep going at it until I've got what I want. Pretty much what I do in life really. <laughs> Just keep going at it. You get there in the end. Yeah, this is lovely now. So if I'd have just done how now on its own, I wouldn't have this colour. So um the combination is is good. So try these things, see? Don't be scared. It's just a bit of colour and a bit of water. And probably some other ingredients I suspect but you know that's bringing grain out really nicely <coughs> sorry about that I had to stop because the dogs were going nuts over nothing literally nothing stupid animals anyway right is all ready for photos. I don't mind taking photos really, just for the video, I guess, because it's going straight in the lounge room. So I changed the draw pull. I might change it again because I want a big one actually. Looks like a nipple. Um, but that's a vintage one off an old piece. So this is, oh, I can't remember what was the colour. Palmetto, was it? Oh, you'll have to go back on the video. And on top is a combination of Cancer Millie. Milk chocolate and cuts and millie. How now? I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, I suppose I can better get photos on my. Thanks for sticking with me on this one, guys. I did a lot of talking, didn't I? A lot of painting and a lot of talking, but that's okay. Girls are coming to. They're ready to, for the day to be finished now. You're right, girls. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for stopping with me. Like I said. Um, if you could head over to the Facebook group, that would be great. Mono Lane Furniture Friends, come and say hi. If you could like and subscribe, I would love you forever. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>